Dr. Delich holds a Bachelor's of Engineering and a PhD in Electronic Engineering. Prior to DST, he worked in microelectronics for over 13 years and is currently with the Weapons and Combat Systems Division in Edinburgh, Adelaide. In 2015, he was awarded a three-year NATO project to direct Australian research on microelectronic 3D imaging and neuromorphic recognition for autonomous UAVs. All right, my talk's all about single photon avalanche diodes, or SPADs for short. Okay, it's a fancy term to describe what essentially is a photon detector or a light detector. So my aim today is to give you a taste of some of the cutting edge research that DSD is involved with in terms of microchips, lasers, and of course SPADs. Hopefully by the end, you'll all be experts, maybe not to my level, but you'll be up there and you'll have, a, I think, a better understanding of the diverse application space that SPADs can actually cater for on this sort of technology. Okay, first on Physics 101, I have a laser pointer. If I flash this against the wall, like this, I can do two things with this stopwatch and this photo multiplier tube, which is effectively a type of photon detector, traditional type of photon detector. I can time how long it takes those pulses to hit the wall and come back, or I can measure the light intensity falling back on the photo multiplier tube within a given time interval. In other words, I can count photons or I can time them. So why is this important? Well, if I know the speed of light, I can actually determine the distance to, those, to that actual object there, right? But what happens if we want to measure more points all at the same time, say over a wider area? How would we do it, right? We could use, for example, a thousand laser pointers, a thousand detectors, and a thousand stopwatches. Not very practical, is it? Okay? One way we can get around this problem, we can use some fancy optics like this. We can expand the beam. So you can imagine in that beam, there's probably a thousand laser points of light. Okay? We get around this problem. But we still have these two issues. So what are we going to do? Well, we can combine them. We can miniaturize them and we can make them no bigger than the thickness of a human hair. And that's in essence what DSD has done. And it's then taken those, a thousand of those things and put them on something no bigger than this, which is a microchip, right? So now when we expose this microchip to that expanded beam of light, there's 1,000 detectors individually measuring those individual laser points and measuring how fast they, they actually hit the wall and come back quite an achievement. So we, we actually thought, you know, we can do a bit better. We went away and we integrated 32,000 on the actual microchip, which actually represents the world's best. If I had a royalty for every time I actually integrated a chip, a photon detector on a chip, I'd actually be a very rich man. But this is actually not actually going to happen. So anyway, so at the moment we're now partnering with industry, uh, university and NATO to develop the next generation of microchips, to so double this number again. Okay, and we're going to be doing some really clever stuff with the technology and embed machine learning so we can do recognition on the fly. Okay, so right about now you're probably wondering, okay Dennis, what's it all really good for? Well, if you take the microchip and you put it in an enclosure, right, you add some fancy optics, you basically have a 3D imaging camera. You can basically image at short and long ranges. It's good for surveillance, detection, surveillance, and you know, all sorts of things. If you take the fiber optic cable and match it with a laser like this and have the microchip at the other end, you can, do, you can expand your sensing possibilities. You can sense everything from radiation to bends, good for communications. Okay? So, if, so the applications are truly endless. Right? So if you, if you want to play with light and if you have a need to detect or fo photons or count them, then come talk to us. DSD is interested in further developing the technology both for the commercial and defence sector, from everything from neurology, space, remote sensing, virtual reality, and robotics. Thanks very much.